Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're gonna talk about a bunch of stuff. I've got some breaking news. Breaking news is I know who created the Instagram account about me. I actually did a whole video telling you guys, I don't know if that video was gonna be up first. Is that video gonna be up first or is this video gonna be up first? See, I found out like a few days ago who the person was and I'm trying to make them sweat because they don't think I know who it is, but I know who it is and I'm trying to make them sweat. So this video might be up first. So stay tuned for that video. I did think it was someone else at first, but then one of you guys actually helped me out and now I know for sure, 100% who it is. So I got an email from YouTube saying that somebody put in privacy claims on five of my videos. Somebody, AKA Jenny and her husband, put in privacy claims on my videos. Well, YouTube denied them because it's not a valid privacy claim. It was a false privacy claim. There was nothing private in those videos. I showed your public comments, public usernames, nothing, nothing private was leaked. So nice try. You will get banned from YouTube if you file untrue privacy claims. Although Jenny has like 16 different YouTube accounts that she's harassed me on. So she should be good. Take a look at this screenshot. So apparently Nicole State has registered a new LLC. It's called Nicole's Secret. Back in February, I made a video talking about her new business, whatever the fuck she called it. I mean, business scam is what I personally call it. I'll link that video down below if you missed it. But yeah, she registered a new LLC called Nicole's Secret. Hmm, wonder what that could be. Also, speaking of Nicole, unfortunately, Nicole State was in a Dolls Kill show. So first of all, just burp, 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 record scratch stop right there. Dolls Kill, if you don't know, is a brand. Do some research on that brand. I'll actually link an article down below. That company allegedly has a past of being racist, cultural appropriation, and allegedly stealing ideas from other small um, like businesses. Again, I'll link an article down below. So yeah, the fact that those two like collaborated with together, it does not surprise me at all. Not one bit. Yeah, she was in a show last night and she was modeling some of the clothes and I'm not putting those, I, I will, I, the video will get demonetized if I put those disgusting fucking photographs on YouTube. So I will spare you guys, but she was modeling stuff. Literally her whole ass was out. Fucking repulsive, disgusting. Um, that's allowed. You can do that. You can put your whole ass out. Like literally she's wearing like this thong thing and it was fucking gross because somebody actually bought it. Like the thing was like upper. I can't even fucking talk. I'm literally going to throw up. Um, but how is that allowed? How the fuck is that allowed? So this person messaged me on dun, 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 June 7th. And they said, want to give away nine days ago from her. I know I'll never get it, but just funny how right you are. And she sent me a picture of the tracking number. Actually, let's check the tracking number. I'm going to check the tracking number because I did message this person back today. Um, again, this is June 7th. I messaged him back today. Today's the friggin' uh, what's today? Today's the 15th. Um, so I messaged him back today and I said, Hey, has there been any update on it? And they haven't messaged me back. So let's, let's check ourselves. And they actually got it. It was delivered on June 13th. This person won the giveaway on May 31st, May 31st at 9 21 PM. The label was created because once Nicole creates that label, she gets paid. So immediately after her shows, she creates the label so she can get paid. It wasn't brought to the post office until June 10th. This person messaged me on June 7th. So this person had contacted whatnot and sent a message to Nicole and was like, where the fuck is my item? And she didn't mail it out until June 10th, June 10th. So May 31st is when the person won it and they didn't get it until June 13th. At least she sent it though. At least she sent it. Um, I knew if I talked about it in a video, she would send it. So at least that was done before I talked about it in a video. Um, but yeah, she's still pulling that shit. She's still, she's still pulling the shit where she is either not sending giveaway items or taking like, why does that take you two weeks? Why is that two weeks to send that? That's fucking crazy. You're not fucking Beyonce. You're not that busy. Let's read a couple of Nicole's recent reviews. So this was 4.5 stars. The person said, didn't receive part of my order. Message sent, still haven't received it, but otherwise great seller. Four and a half stars for that. Like what? These people are fucking brainwashed. They are brainwashed, manipulated, taken advantage of. Like anyone in their right mind wouldn't give someone four and a half stars if they didn't receive part of their order and reached out to that person and still didn't receive it, didn't hear anything back. Four and a half stars. No, the average person would not do that. Again, these people are fucking brainwashed. Here's more proof that she takes forever to fucking ship. This is five stars. Although they came later than expected, these are worth the wait. Thanks brainwashed. This person, five stars. I'm still surprised at the amount of time it takes to have such small things delivered, but that is not the fault of the seller. It is, however, fault of both whatnot and the carrier they have selected. 
Now, if you actually look at the tracking info, you'll see when it was actually brought to the post office, not the post office's fault, I promise you. Sometimes, I mean, yeah, they do mess up, they do, and Nicole has a track record of um, just sending shit out whenever the fuck she pleases. She takes her time, sometimes she doesn't send shit at all, and I have to make videos about it, and then she sends the stuff. This review's funny, four stars. Did not realize the auction was a lottery, otherwise I would not have paid $30 for a hair towel from a discount store. Lesson learned, four stars, you're generous, that's generous. She said lottery, lotteries are illegal unless you have a license to run them, which Nicole State and whatnot does not. Yeah, let's talk about Jen Deals, Jen Deals, Jen Deals. Someone made a Reddit post about her and we're gonna read, <laughs> we're gonna read the post. Guys, she's an influencer, she made it to Reddit, she's an influencer, influencer of the year. Jen deals. It says, never bought from her, never spoke to her, never interacted with this female. So I went down the rabbit hole to maybe why this individual would randomly just block me. I typed in bullies and scammers on whatnot and came across her name in many videos. Now it makes sense. Um, and then they like repeated the first like, couple of sentences. Thanks, Jen, for saving me from buying from you. You did me a huge favor. Keep blocking people for their sake. Just go and type Jen deals bully and Jen deals scammer in your browser. And then the replies back are funny. This person said, and it's Bath and Body Works. She acts like she's selling gold. <laughs> so true. So true. This person said, well, it's 75% off in the store right now. LOL. My wife just went. <laughs> this person said, I said, hey, in someone's stream and she blocked me. Sounds about right. Jen has blocked a lot of people depending on what you say, who you follow, how you rate, etc. From what I hear, definitely not a loss. This person said she's absolutely sick in the head. Trust me, it's not you. It's her. Ain't that the truth? This person said, I was blocked by her and I have been into her shows maybe twice. I was blocked months later at that. She's just rude to everyone. She pops up on YouTube all the time with her Delulu videos. This person mentioned my name. Ever since hearing about her in a Vada's Rad video, it was clear she sucks. She thinks she's the Bath and Body Works queen. She lies a lot and says that people say racial slurs to her mom, etc. All while she had a Facebook group where she used to bash and block people. If you guys don't know, I will link a Jen Deals playlist down below. I highly suggest you go watch those videos. I have proof of her bullying people. She's literally the biggest fucking bully ever. I have proof of that. Videos will be linked down below. And then this person said, yep, welcome to the club. She's a complete nutcase. All right, I think that's all I want to talk about in this video. As always, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video.